yeah, that's been my eventful morning. Duck nests smell horrible when they're dead. So I'm so excited I'm going to unbox it with you guys, which is why I'm wearing a different shirt. And we're going to unbox in front of Captain America because the dogs have nearly popped Darth Vader completely out of his frame. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? Well, by the look of how disgusting I look, I'm doing peachy. So why am I home instead of at work? I called in sick because I really could not even think of going back to work today. I'll go in Thursday, but I just needed this day away from it because, oh my God, no. Um, but don't worry, the morning has been plenty eventful. So, I let the dogs out, and they decided to go roam in the pasture, and I'm like, okay, I can leave all three of them alone when they go in the pasture, because I know they're not in the road. Well, I hear MRL bark, so I go to let him in, and I notice this horrible, horrible smell. It was like a mix of burning oil and something dead. And I was like, what in the heck did they get into? I didn't have my glasses on at the time. So I couldn't see what they were getting into. So I went and brought them inside. Oh my gosh, they stank so bad. Their breaths were awful. So I'm pretty darn sure they ate something they weren't supposed to. So I used like these wipes that are like good for a quick bath and wiped all of them down. Got their toothbrush, their dental wipes and wiped down their teeth. And even opened their mouths and wiped their tongues down because their breath was that bad. And then I sprayed the kitchen and the den with Lysol because it smelled horrible. And I was like, okay, I need to go see what's going on out there. So I go outside. Glass is on, by the way. It doesn't take me long to figure out what it was. So one of our duck nests apparently has died. And the mama abandoned it. And the eggs were rotting. That's what the dogs got into. I could see one eggshell cracked open, and I had saw Riddler near it, so I know they were involved with it. Like that nest. No, it was so gross. So then I spent most of the mo most of the morning with a shovel, scooping out rotting eggs and rotting nest material, and throwing it across the road, which smelled horrible. I felt bad for the mama duck in the next nest, which is nearby this one. Luckily, I'm going to guess her eggs are doing great because she is not, like, she's sitting on them, so she's doing great. Um, and then I was like, what can I use to cover up the smell? Well, we happen to have, like, four bales of pine straw, which is going to be used for our blueberries. So in my mind, I'm like, well, maybe pine straw will help. I don't know. I'm like, it's pine and anything just to cover up the smell so hold on, I gotta plug in my camera real quick as soon as I can find my charger do 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 pop okay I think it's good now um but, yeah, exciting. Um, and then came back inside. Of course, the dogs still smell. So I was just like, you know what? Screw this. I gave all three of them a legit bath. Why is this not? Hold on. Okay, I figured it out. The power strip that my charger is connected to was turned off. So now my camera's charging. Yay. Um, oh, and the dogs are whining outside my door because I'm not letting them in right now. Though they no longer smell like rotten eggs. Because I came back in and gave all three of them actual baths. Because I'm like, no. No, we're getting rid of this smell now. So, and I was like, you know, I'm already sweaty and disgusting from scooping out a dead nest and taking it across the road. So why not go ahead? Because I get sweaty and gross when I'm bathing the dogs. And I'm just like, you know, I'm already at that point. Whatever. I'll need to get a shower anyway. So, um... 
got all three of them bathed. I put their collars in the washing machine, and then I'm going to hang them outside to dry because I was even like, nope, we're going to make sure the smell's not even in their collars. Which their collars probably need to get washed anyway. Um, they definitely won't go in the dryer because I don't want things to melt, and two of them have tags that I don't really want to take off. Um, also brush their teeth again with the wipes. They're not happy with me about that, but... And... The thing I kind of don't like, I was planning on today maybe taking Emerald to Petco. Like, not really for training, he won't have any of his gear or anything, just take him just to go. And have some fun and probably spend more money on my dogs. <laughs> and I know Dental Chews is going to be on that list, for sure. Because, ah. Uh, um, I've been planning on getting Dental Chews for a while anyway. And now I have even more of a reason to get dental chews. I may get some blue buffalo training treats just to see how MRL likes them. And then I'm thinking a scrub brush for bath time. Especially with MRL and Sassy because they both have thicker coats. Um, you may look at Sassy and be like, what? How does she have a thick coat? She has like an undercoat kind of thing. Um, she usually, she takes the longest to dry out of our three dogs because of that undercoat. Um, if you don't know, she is a blue healer Dalmatian mix. So it's probably the healer coat that's going on with her. Um, Emerald's second to t second longest because of his long hair. Which luckily is like softer and finer and very fluffy. I get that comment a lot. So his isn't bad to deal with. And the Riddler, of course, has very, very short hair. I like to tell him that he has no hair, so he, b he dries very fast. And he's the one whining outside the door because he hears me. And is like, you're not letting me in. But I'm like, I don't want to let any of you in right now. Um, I mean, even though I feel really gross, I'm thinking about going ahead and doing some yoga. Because I'm going to be sweating during that anyway. And I'm like, why not get all my physical activities over with. And then move on to getting a shower. And then eventually get, you know, everybody clean. And hopefully, I really hope I can. I would like to take MRL to Petco. We shall see, because I've got the whole day ahead of me now since I'm not at work today. Um, but I will be going for the last two days. I really don't want to, but I need to. I made a promise to the director, who is also MRL and Riddler's breeder, and, you know, I'd do it. Even though I have a replacement now, but, you know, what are you going to do? So... Yeah, that's been my eventful morning. Duck nests smell horrible when they're dead. Just gonna point that out now. Hey guys! That's my brother. Hi guys, I'm just here for a special thing. Yeah, don't say what it is yet. Quit ruining the surprise. But anyway, so I still look really rough because I didn't shower yet. Because guess what I did instead? Took a nap. <laughs> I was just laying down and I was like, okay, after this video, I'm going to get a shower. But then my dogs were napping on my legs. <laughs> if you've seen my Instagram, then you saw the picture of that. And I was like, well, I saw it. You saw it? Yeah. And, you know, it's like, I don't want to make my dogs uncomfortable. Though I did end up switching onto my side and kind of like carefully maneuvering my legs because MRL was kind of cutting off blood supply to one of my legs. It was great. Last I checked, Emerald was like rubber chickened on the box. Yeah, he likes to collapse on the chest. That's one of his favorite places. Um, and then I just woke up and took the dogs out because we heard things going on outside. And my mom is home from camp. Yeah, I never told you guys, but my mom left and now she's back. Yeah. And then apparently I missed a huge surprise that my brother left on my desk. I just my, snuck in and left it like Santa Claus. My bark box is in. Hooray! I'm a Santa Claus in June. So I'm so excited. I'm going to unbox it with you guys, which is why I'm wearing a different shirt. And we're going to unbox in front of Captain America because the dogs have nearly popped Darth Vader completely out of his frame. So he is retired. So now, if I have any deep conversations instead of depth with Darth Vader... We'll have contemplation with Captain America. It will be fantastic. Creative. I'm very creative. So now I'm about to get the dogs in and we're about to start our unboxing. Woo! All right, so I've got Riddler. 
Emerald's over there, Sassy's over there, and we've got a Bark Box. So I've seen bark, bark Box unboxings, so I know what it usually comes with. For you guys that don't know, it usually comes with two toys, unless you pay an extra nine bucks for another toy, which I'm like, no. Um, comes with two bags of treats. Hi! No, don't get, don't get near me. You have egg breath. It's gross. Two Emerald. bags of treats and a chew. Emerald. But anyway, so it has like this paper thing in there and then it usually has an information sheet on the toys inside. So if I'm right, the theme should be Jurassic Bark. So it should be dinosaurs. This should be fun. So ready? Ready? Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Hashtag Jeez like with three Louise. dogs. All right. So hi. Hi, baby. Hello. Hi, baby. He's more excited about his water buffalo horn. So let's open it. <gasps> Wait, it's not Jurassic Bark. It's the New York one. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I know, you're so excited. Patience and self virtue, young one. So, I'm going to sneak all of these as best as I can. Whee! So, <laughs> this is. So, the theme for this one is Central Bark. So it's the New York Bark Box. I saw something about Jurassic Bark on Instagram, which is why I thought that's what it was. So that's awesome. Guys! Guys! I'm All just right. gonna put it beside it comes, the Emerald. It comes with a card that says welcome. Fun fact. It says welcome to New York City, the home of Bark Box. There's no place we'd rather mark as our own. <laughs> Central Park, stop at the first tree you see. Funny. So, um, yeah, that's where BarkBox is from. Fun fact for you. So now, we're going to get into it. I'm going to reach in and just grab a toy. This one I'm excited about. It's a giant freaking pretzel! Look at that! Hold on. Go get me my scissors. I need to cut the okay. tag off. Okay. I know. I am surrounded by wine. <laughs> and it feels like there's a rope in So let me cut the tag off, guys. Okay. So it feels like there's rope inside. I was so excited. I loved this toy and I'm glad we have it. Yay! So boys, what do you think? Salt not included. No, the salt's on it. It's just white dots. I think MRL approves. Riddler, do you approve? I know, but it doesn't taste salty. All right. All right. Ready? Ready? Woo! It squeaks. <gasps> Wait, it squeaks? Did it squeak? Wait, nor did it land on a squeaky toy. My brother's about to find out. Does <laughs> it squeak? Yes, it squeaks! It squeaks! Okay, you need to move, please. It has squeakers in it. All right, go! Emerald loves squeaks. squeaky toys. The next item is a Lady Liberty ball. It's a squeaky ball and it's all nubby. Boys, boys, I need you to move. Sassy says, leave me alone. So let me cut the tag. And it's a Lady Liberty ball. How adorable. Yay. Face. And go get it. Well, Emerald is saying yes to it. Hi, sassy girl. So see, sassy is old. So she will not appreciate the toys as much. But you can appreciate the treats. Are you going to get treats? Yes. Did you hear treat? Are you going to get a cookie? <laughs> Look how excited he knows the word cookie. It's great. All right, so next item I'm going to just reach in here is Lamb Long Toasters from Superior Farms. Let's see. Toasters are the perfect treat for training and engaging your faithful companion. Made gently, made from gently toasted 100% natural lamb lung protein. Mmm, yummy. And fun. And if you guys are curious, the treats that they get are usually made in the United States or in Canada. So, woo. Anyways, so we're gonna test them out. Ooh, Riddler's excited. Y you gotta wait, dude. He smell kind of weird. <laughs> ah, 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 guys, life with three dogs. Life with three dogs. All right. <laughs> Guys! Ah, sit! You're kind of already sitting, so. Oh, 
All right, that's three pieces. So, Sassy, since you are not attacking me, you get to go first. What do you think, baby? Does she like it? Mm-hmm, I think Sassy said yes. All right, boys. Boys, boys, go. They're large breed dogs, so of course, they're going to shove everything down their face hole. <laughs> so that's the lame lung toasters. The next one, if I can feel for it, Oh, there it is. Whee! Is Soho's bacon cheddar flavor. Boys, get off of the treats! Oh, dear Lord, why did I do this? This is a bad Here, idea. Hammer up. Hammer up. You see this? This is chaos! These are like bacon cheddar. And it has rye, oats. So it's good, good grains and meat and cheese. So get out of the box. Now let's open these and see what the dogs think. If Riddler will stop sniffing. I know there's one more item in there and the lungs, you really like those. Oh my gosh, life with three dogs. Gotta make that a hashtag, life with three dogs. All right. Let's hurry and get this open before the dogs attack me. All right. That's what it looks like. It's a little bone. All right. Ready? Ready? Boy, sit. 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 Yes. Sat. Ah, sassy. He sat on a pretzel. You can have the first one, Sassy. Emerald can have one, and Riddler can have one. All right. The boys give these a 10. Sassy gives it. I'm going to take it over there and eat it. But that must mean she likes it. And the last item is a premium deer chew. It's for casual chewers, so I'm pretty sure the boys will destroy this in like two casual seconds. Well, that's what it says. Emerald, can you move? Life with three dogs. So yeah, that is everything in our bark 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 box. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, there was also nope, nope, nope. Ah, I'll bite you. <laughs> There's also a card that, let's see, it says how to bark box. It's exciting. So yeah, that is the bark box. So yay! Hi guys. There's one pup, there's two pups, and three's over there. So the rest of my evening has been pretty much doing nothing. Yay! But I had an interesting thought. And I have to get this thought out in about four minutes because that's how much time I have left on my SD card. Yay! Um, so I called in sick from work saying I had a stomach problem when really it was anxiety. I bet a lot of us have done that where we lied and said that we had some physical ailment wrong and that's why we can't be at work or school when it was actually a mental health problem. Because of course, the stigma is still there and people are like, oh, you're just faking it, you're fine. I'm like, no. If I had gone back to work today, I probably would have legit passed out. Um, but I'm having to go back to work tomorrow, so... <laughs> Still not happy about that, but, you know, two more days, I guess. Um, two more days of pay. I guess that's alright, too. So, you know, it's just amazing. The lies that we have to come up with to, like, I guess make people think that, you know, we are worthy or like not like worthy like usually but like oh you do deserve this break and we have to lie and say that it's like some kind of physical ailment when that's not true so don't you love how our world runs nope me neither so now i'm gonna sign off for the night and head off to bed so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've had a wonderful day or night rain or shine whatever the world has for you today Question of the day is, um, what do you dislike the most about how our world views mental illness? I guess, I mean, I dislike a lot of things, but I think one of them is just like thinking that if someone's like, hey, I have a mental illness, their first thought is, oh, you're just faking it. Like, you don't look sick. You, you know, that's no excuse. Blah, I don't. I suff I like deal with blah 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 blah. blah.
So, there you go. So put your answers down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Render. Good night, Sassy. Good night, Fluffer Butt. <laughs>